Good morning. There's a great difference between our glorying in the wrong things and our glorying in the right things. Our reading today is just two verses at Jeremiah 9, verses 23 to 24. I think you've heard these famous lines. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches. But let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. It's interesting where these lines come to us, isn't it? Right at this place where J Judah is being prophesied to be, em the land to be emptied in judgment, d the dead to be stacked up high on every side. And uh, then after this, God says he's going to judge the uncircumcised and the circumcised at the same time. That's tomorrow morning. It's in this place that he comes to us and he has a very strong, interesting word to us about what we glory in. After this talk about the, the fields being littered with the dead, then comes the warning. Don't be glorying in your imagined wisdom. Don't be glorying in your imagined might. Don't be glorying in your imagined riches. And it leads me to think back again to Revelation chapter 3, uh, which we actually thought about not too many days ago. Revelation chapter 3, there's seven church periods there in the last church, the Laodicean church. Do you remember how they felt? The last church? They felt like they were rich and increased with goods, had all this great stuff, doing just fine spiritually. No thank you, we're doing fine. That was the spirit. How easily we can misperceive, you know, we think we're spiritually rich. We think we are clothed. Spiritually, we may be actually quite naked. How easily we're prone to take garbage for riches and nonsense for wisdom. But if we do glory, we're to glory in just one thing. Did you see what it was? We're to glory that we understand and know God. We are to know and understand the character of God, what God is like. He wants us to trust Him and to have faith in Him from the position of trusting who He is. And we see what He is here again. Remember, I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment, or actually justice, and righteousness in the earth. When we know God, that those are His attributes, that that's what His, his character is like, then we can take and trust everything to the cross of Jesus Christ. He stretched out his hands and died for us on the cross. It wasn't just a, a strange thing. It wasn't just a, a technical thing. It came from a heart of loving kindness like we see here. If we know what he's like, we'll be more inclined to feel a sense of trust for him. Now, I know we're not, we're not supposed to be ruled by our feelings. I know that. But isn't it still true that if you believe somebody feels a love for you, it makes it easier for you to feel a love back for them? Isn't that still true? And isn't it true that had the kingdom of Judah respected their maker, respected God, that they wouldn't even be in this position of imminent invasion and destruction? Wouldn't that be true? Yes, it would be true. They wouldn't have worked against God's unselfish character. They wouldn't have done those kinds of things. God wouldn't have had to chasten them so dramatically. Do you remember that in the Gospels, Jesus warns us, there will come a day when many who thought they knew Jesus well, he'll, he'll say back to them, no, you know, I, I never knew you. You were mistaken. It was not me you were following. And so there's a warning for us. There's a very powerful help for us here at Jeremiah chapter 9. Knowing God is our greatest priority because until we know him, we really won't know ourselves very well either. It is in him that we live and move and have our being. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. We want to be right with Jesus. We want to be right with heaven. Lord, there's some strong counsel here for us that whatever we glory in, we tend to glory in so many other things, Lord, but please help us to glory only in that we know the God, the God of love. May we be first yours as the loving and trusting child toward the parent. Please, Lord, may, may we have that opportunity to serve you that way. And you'll bring everything else into, into order, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us refuse to glory in all our perishables, but only that we know and understand God. And may God go with you today into your day.